Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and we are back with more Return to Castle Wolfenstein on the PC. We are up to Mission 4, but before we get started, we've got a cutscene to watch. Well, Jack. Blazkowicz touched down with the Cobra Malta about six hours ago. Hmm. In one piece, I assume? Yes, sir. Advanced Aeronautics is en route to Malta now. Excellent. Now, I've read your report, Jack. Tell me what you make of this Operation Resurrection that Jerry's are so hot about. Well, sir, this is the second time that name has cropped up. First at the dig, and then at the rocket base. It is unquestionably the link between Death's Head and the Paranormal Group. Anything else? I'm afraid not, sir. We still need more information. And what would you suggest? We go to the source, and by that I mean we shadow Death's head himself, and we do it right in his own backyard. I take it you're referring to the secret weapons facility near Kugelstadt. Exactly. Interesting proposition. You know, for months we've been trying to infiltrate that facility and have had no luck at all. I'm aware of that, sir. And are you also aware that Kugelstadt itself has been undergoing intense Allied bombing raids for the past 48 hours? Yes, sir. In fact, I was counting on that diversion to help tip the scales in our favor. Hmm. Well, what you probably don't know is that our Kreisau friends in the area have recently reported the existence of a high-level scientist from the weapons facility who wishes to defect and is desperately seeking asylum. I imagine he could supply us with some very useful facts. Indeed. All right. Now this is what we're going to do. We send Agent Blaskowitz in to link up with the Kreisau group outside of Kuperstadt. They have means for getting him inside the weapons facility, and he can assist them as necessary in order to get this scientist out of there and back in our hands. And then? Well, and then we have him play the Bloodhound. Follow the scent. Alright, so here we go guys, this is where we commence mission 4, it's called Deadly Designs, and this is the first level of mission 4, called Kugelstart. There are 4 levels in total for mission 4. Our mission objectives are, eliminate Panzer Grenadier team, escort the captured Panzer safely to the SWF complex, note SWF equals secret weapons facility. Aid Kreisau Circle in safe defection of SWF scientist and gain access to SWF complex. Let's have a read of this before we get started. Death's Head has been tracked to what we believe is his secret weapons facility, SWF. This is an industrial complex located near Kugelstadt, a city that has undergone intensive aerial bombardment by the Allies for the past 48 hours. Death's Head's connection to the events at Castle Wolfenstein are becoming more clear, but it is imperative that we learn more about what his Special Projects Division is up to. The OSA has wanted to investigate the SWF since learning of its existence a few months ago, but we have been unable to pinpoint its exact location or gain entry. The Chrysler Circle has also informed us that a top scientist from the SWF wishes to defect. They have commandeered a panzer tank near the entrance to the complex and will be able to assist you in gaining entry to the facility. Once you link up with the resistance members, afford them any help they might need in securing the safe defection of the scientist. Preliminary reports have come to us from the defecting scientist through our Chrysler Circle contacts. These reports state the existence of a project book that fully discloses information on Death's Head's experimental venom gun. Now this level, pretty much the majority of the levels in this mission take place in bombed out cities. You know, they've just been bombed to shit and there's a lot of close proximity fighting with Nazis for these levels. It can be quite tight. So let's get straight into it. Alright, we must move quickly. So we've got this tank here. 
and it slowly makes progress through the city. Yep, so he's telling us to eliminate all the Nazis up ahead and predominantly the guy with the Panzer Faust who I'm not too sure... oh fuck, there's a guy with a Mauser rifle. That was an unbelievable shot from him, did you see that? He wasn't even... he was moving and he shot me with the Mauser rifle. Get the fuck out of here. That is ridiculous, there is no way that could happen in real life. So yeah, as I was trying to say, we've got this tank here and it won't progress until you take care of pretty much all the enemies up ahead and like I said more specifically any enemies that have the Panzerfaust weapon because they can fuck up the tank in one hit sniper there, oh my goodness that is just ridiculous, come on shit fucking hell quite a few in here Okay, so that was the guy with the Panzerfaust, I just killed him. Awesome. So that's why the tank isn't moving. It basically doesn't want to get blown to shit. Ooh. I saw you. <laughs> He's gonna try and flank me. There we go. Fuck off. Excellent work. Now keep moving. You must locate the extraction team. So there we go, the tank can move forward now. Wait for the tank to move forward up ahead here because if you poke your head out there is a sniper up ahead in the bell tower I'll quickly show you if you try and alright well I got lucky there I got very lucky actually if you try and take care of him 99% of the time he's gonna fucking shoot your ass as soon as you show yourself like this it's ridiculous and you get sent really flying back but as you can see he just said he's gonna shoot out the bell tower in case there are snipers our team has like that. Up with the defecting scientists, but they are under heavy fire on the block. And he just just hey. Fucking hell, where'd that Nazi go? Get back here. Yeah, so I mean, I just shot out that sniper up in the bell tower there, but most of the time, I just wait for this tank to move up ahead and then blow the shit out of it. You know, kill the sniper in there, which is awesome. Okay, so now for this part, we've got to sort of be quite quick. You can't fuck around here, so I'm just going to use the... Actually, I'm going to use the FG-42. Great weapon. A lot of Nazis here. We get introduced to a new enemy. A Nazi that basically carries the flamethrower. Very, very damaging enemy. You want to fucking kill him as soon as possible. He's very strong as well. Alright, so I'm going to be very quick here. I'm just going to do a lot of running and gunning. Fucking hell, get the burn. And there'll be another guy here, of course. What the fuck? Look at that shit. So there's the guy with the flamethrower. He's extremely deadly. You don't want to get caught in that flame. There we go. Awesome. But there's heavy resistance along the last road before the weapons complex. Let's go! Thank you for your assistance. We will move the scientist out soon. You'd better get going. Alright, so now we have to be quick. The defecting scientist is safe. We have to run back to the tank. And as you can see, I just picked up the flamethrower. Really good weapon. Technically, it's a silent weapon as well. So, you know, this weapon can be used in terms of getting stealth kills. It's quite good. I'll show you how damaging it is. Look at this. Fuck off. Burn, you piece of shit. Look at that. Okay, so the tank's moving forward. I have to be very quick because... Fucking hell, get up there, you fuck. There we go. Because there are two guys with Panzerfausts. One right there. I don't really care. Oh shit. And one here. Get out. I don't really care about the troops. It's basically the guys 
with the Panzer Fausts that you need to take care of because if you don't, they will fucking blow up that tank instantly. You may enter now. Good luck on your mission. So there you go, it's just blasted that open for us and we can progress. But before we do, I'm going to explore the area for loot, kill any remaining Nazis. Oh shit, there's a flame thrower dude up there. Fucking hell, are you kidding me? You know what, I've never actually tried killing the flamethrower guys with the flamethrower. I don't think it would work. I mean, look what they're wearing. It looks like they'd be immune to it. Now, who the fuck was shooting me up ahead there? You know what, let's use the... Mauser rifle. There we go. I haven't finished looting the area, so I'm going to do that first. You can shoot those barrels if you want to blow up enemies if they're near it. I've already killed them all though. <laughs> that guy was like, what the fuck? <laughs> he was dead before he even knew what happened. Okay, so... I'm on over 100 health and I've got 100 armor. I'm gonna use... Flamethrower here. Take that. I think there's another flame. Yep, there he is. You know what? Let's try this. Oh my goodness. Come on. Yeah. You can see that it's doing jack shit against the flamethrower guy. Makes sense, I guess. Fucking hell. Alright. So we use the FG 42. I'm sort of chewing through the ammo of the FG 42, but I don't really give a shit because in the coming levels. Trust me, you are going to find heaps of ammo for this weapon. The FG-42 is going to be your main go-to run and gun type weapon from now on. Fuck the MP-40, fuck the Thompson, and fuck the silenced Sten submachine gun. It's pretty much the FG-42 from here on out in terms of taking care of Nazis. So there's the end of the level. As you can see, there is one secret area. Where is it? Well, it's right here. You need to jump up on top of this. And then on top of that, there you go, you found a secret area. Make a running jump over here. And there you go, some ammo and health. There's nothing else to collect. Yep, nothing. I knew it. So let's drop down, try not to lose any health. Beautiful. And that is it. Let's have a look, there you go. As you can see, objectives 4 out of 4, secret areas 1 out of 1, no treasures, all done in one attempt. So I will walk forward to complete the level, and as usual guys, I will see you in the next video for level 2.